Kamusta laha, kamusta laha, kamusta, kamusta, kamusta. Kamusta laha means hello everybody in Tagalog, which is in the Philippines. I miss you. Hug, hug, kiss, kiss. Today we're going to be making a constant vowel consonant word book. So first, I'm going to have to cut it out. You will find this on Google Classroom and it is so simple. So you're going to get this piece of paper and there's like a line right here and we're going to cut it up. I've already done it so far. So here we go. cut them out you stay on the dotted line and we're going to say these sounds C K T T M right M mm. what's this one friends R R R Growl like a dog. L, lift your tongue up to the back of your teeth. O. And of course we know this one. Close your teeth, hide your tongue. S says s. Now look here. This is what I cut out and this is the base. And although it's a staple, what you're going to do is, well, what I'm going to do is, I'm going to use double-sided tape because I left all my staplers at school. So I'm going to put this here. Oh, look, I made a word. Cap. 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 All right, let's do another one. I'm putting double-sided tape again. Mm, mm, M, mm, mm, M. Put it on there. Mm, app, map, map. Double-sided tape. I'm hoping that this works. What's the R sound? Oh yes, growl like a dog. Er, app, er, app, rap. Now let me see if this works. If I turn the page, wrap, map, cap, cap. Yes, it works. I'll keep on doing it. Lift your tongue behind your teeth. Oh, app, lap. S close your teeth, hide your tongue. S app, sap. What's the T sound? T. You're right. T. 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 App, tap. 
Ooh, growl like a dog. Er rap. Here's the M. Make that M sound. Mmm. Mmm. Map. And the last one is the C. What's the C sound? Make your frog jump in your throat. Open wide. Cap. 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 Now you made you a book. A CVC book. Cool beans. It's time for math. Parents, you're going to see this loaded up on Google Classroom. Just print it out. Put you a protective sheet over it so that they can rewrite all over the protective sheet. You're also going to need this, the number rhyme formation as well as a dry erase marker and a dry eraser, a die, and the counters. It could be anything, buttons, beans, um, chips, anything like that. Oops, did I just drop one? It's okay. Anyway, let's get going. This is what it says. It says roll it. So we're gonna roll the die and it came out to be three. Let's count it, make sure. One, two, three. Let's put our finger in the air like you just don't care and write the number three. Here we go. Around the tree, around the tree. That's the way we make a three. So that was a three. And I wanna see if I can put that there. Three. Now we're going to take our dry erase marker and we're going to write the number three. We just said the rhyme. Let's do it one more time. This time we're going to say it while we write. Around the tree, around the tree. That's the way we make a three. Now we're going to get our counters and we're going to count to three because it says here, show it. Let's do it. One, two, three. He's going to try and catch three butterflies. One, two, three. You want to try it again? Let's roll again. Hold on. Take all of these off. Get my die. Here we go. Ah, oh, now it's another three. It's okay. Practice makes progress. Let's put this die right here. Can you see it? It says one, two, three. Put our finger in the air like we just don't care. We're gonna draw, write the number three. Around the three, around the three. That's the way we make a three. All right, here we go. Let's write it and say the rhyme. Around the tree, around the tree. That's the way we make a three. Let's count it again. One, two, three. Now, if you want to make it more challenging, do you remember the first um, numbers that we put, that we rolled? Yes, you're right. It was three. So we're going to make an addition equation. So this was the first one, three. We're going to put the plus sign and we're going to put another three here. Around the tree, around the tree. This time, we're going to see what three and three makes. All right, let's see. One, two, three, and three more. We're going to count on. One, two, three, four, five, six. It makes six. Three plus three equals six. How do we make six? We make a curve, then a loop. There are no tricks to make a six. So we're going to say that again while we write. Make a curve, then a loop. 
There are no tricks to make a six. Let's make sure. Three plus three equals six. One, two, three, four, five, six. Oh, but our dice is wrong. Let's see if we can find six dots on here. Do you see six dots? Three and three. One, two, three, four, five, six. Ta-da! Hey, let's read us a book. I got a real cool book here. But before I read it, who can tell me the parts of the book? This is the front, spine, back. Yay, you got it. Hey, how would I know if it's the title? It has big words. You're right. These are the big words. So that must be the title. Well, who writes the book? The author, yes. And by looking at this, are these photographs or drawings? They're drawing. So that means someone illustrated this book. An illustrator does what? Draws the pictures. So the author of this book is Bruce Goldstone, and it was illustrated by Blair Lent. Hey, look, friends, this is a sight word. See it? What's that sight word say? The, the beastly feast. Ooh, I wonder what this book is going to be about. Can we look at the pictures? Maybe we can figure it out. Hmm, looks like. They're having dinner. I wonder if it's true. Ready? Tell me when we can read. What page is this? Can I read here? No, this is the title page. Oh, look, there's a dedication page. This is dedicated to the one I love. This is dedicated to Amelia. Oh, it sounds like Emilia, but with an A, Amelia. All right, before we read, who can tell me how to read? Where do we start? Top left? Well, in this case, it's the top right, but we do start from left to right, word for word, and row by row. All right, let's see what this book is about. It's a table. Oh, I think we predicted correctly. It must be time for dinner. The beasts are having a feast. Animals from everywhere come with tasty food to share. The beasts are having a feast. Look at that. It's an exclamation mark, so we have to be really excited about it. Can we read it again? The beasts are having a feast. Bears bring pears. Parrots bring carrots. Antelope bring cantaloupe. Puffins bring muffins. Hey, there's rhymes in here. Wow, puffins, muffins. I like muffins. Don't we have muffins every Friday for breakfast at school? Mosquitoes bring burritos. Ha! And fishes bring niches. What are niches? Hmm, that's something we might have to Google. I don't know what niches are. Bees bring tea and bunnies bring honey. Oh. Moose bring juice and mice bring rice. Oh, chopsticks. What do moose bring? Juice. Moose juice. They rhyme. 
cheese bring peas and flies bring pies. Ooh, I like pies. Bunnies, bears, bees, and antelope. Honey, pears, tea, and cantaloupe. Antelope, cantaloupe. See the cantaloupe? How many cantaloupes are there? Let's count. One, two, three. How many antelopes? One, two, three. Ah. Mosquitoes, moose, mice, and parrots. Burritos, juice, rice, and carrots. Yum. They really are having a feast. Fleas, flies, fishes, and puffins. Peas, pies, nishes, and muffins. Burritos, mosquitoes, antelope and fleas, fishes, niches, cantaloupe and peas. Moose, juice, flies and mice, muffins, puffins, pies and rice. Tea, bees, bunnies and pears. Parrots, carrots, honey, and bears. The feast is done. The beasts are full. So everybody claps. Hey, let's clap. Yay. That was a great feast. Then armadillos bring some pillows. Uh-oh. What do you think they're going to do? You're right. And everybody naps. You know what? When I eat and get really full, sometimes I do want to take a nap. Did you like that book? It's a pretty cool book. It had rhymes in it. It had really cool drawings of different animals and all types of food. Yum. Okay, friends, I think that's it for today. Now remember, wash your hands. Remember our song? Tops and bottoms, tops and bottoms. In between, in between, rub your hands together, rub your hands together. Now they're clean, now they're clean. Now remember, be nice, stay kind, work hard, and make the most of your mind. Bye-bye.